Hey everyone, my name is Wei. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to show you how to swap outfits on a person using the latest version of the IP adapter in Comfy UI. It's super easy, and all you need are two images one of the outfit you love, and one of the person you want to dress up. We'll use a couple of nodes in Comfy UI. Just run your images through and watch as it dresses your person in a new outfit. There might be a few small glitches, but don't worry, the face detailer node is here to smooth those out. I'll drop a link to this workflow in the description below so you can download it, import it into your Comfy UI, and play around with it. Sometimes you might see some nodes highlighted in red or get a pop up indicating missing nodes when you import the workflow. Here's what you do next. Head over to the Comfy UI Manager. First thing, make sure you update Comfy UI to avoid running an outdated version of IP adapter. After the update, go ahead and hit Install Missing Nodes. You want to install the Comfy UI Impact Pack? Configure IP Adapter Plus and the Segment Anything Notes. Once you install everything, remember to click the Restart button. If things look a bit off and you see some nodes in red, just refresh the page. This should fix it and get all the nodes up and running smoothly. Now, let's walk through building this workflow step by step to make sure you can use it to its full potential. Let's get started. All right, let's jump into the Configure interface and get started by loading up a portrait image of the person you want to work with. Double click anywhere in the workspace and search for load to bring up the load image node. Hit upload, choose the image you want to dress up, and we are off to a great start. Now we need to make a mask for the outfit using a semantic segmentation node. Double click again and type grounding to find and import the grounding demo SAM segment. This node needs a body to work properly, so double click once more and search for SAM model. Choose SAM model loader and link these two nodes together. Then click on the model name and pick the right model based on how powerful your computer is. Since we are focusing on the dress, type dress in the prompt area for specificity. Hook up the image input port back to the load image node we set up earlier. This will ensure the dress is correctly identified and masked out in our workflow. To make the mask's edges blend more naturally, we need another node. Double click, search for feather, Grab the Feather Mask node and connect it to our Grounding Dino SAM segment. I usually set the parameters to around 2, but adjust this based on your needs. To see what our mask looks like, let's bring in one more node. Double click Search Convert and pick Convert Mask to Image. Link this to the Feather Mask and pull out the Preview Image node. Now, let's generate this image and check out how it looks. There it is, the masked image is ready. Let's add some annotations in the Configure Manager to keep things clear. Back on the main screen, you'll see the mask perfectly shapes the dress. Now, it's time to build the IP adapter module and switch up the outfit with another dress image. Before we get started with the IP adapter nodes, it's crucial to have the right models installed. Head over to the Configure Manager, click the Install Models button, and search for IP adapter. Scroll through and find the three models that includes ISDXL in their names, and hit the Install button for each. After that, close the Manager. Go back to the main interface and hit Refresh. Now, your new models are ready to use. First up, 
Let's import the outfit image. Double click search load to bring up load image. Click upload and select the outfit image you want to work with. Next, we'll bring the IP adapter advanced node. Then search for unified and choose IP adapter unified loader with a preset set to plus. Connect this to your IP adapter advanced node. This setup needs a connection to a checkpoint. So let's also import a checkpoint loader and connect that as well. Choose an SDXM model for the checkpoint. Now, let's make sure the IP adapter knows where to focus. Connect the attention mask port of the IP adapter advanced to the mask input of the feather mask. We've got one more port to deal with. Drag over the clip vision loader from clip vision. But remember, a loader is nothing without a model. If you need one, go back to Config UI Manager, type clip, search, and install the two models that includes line 2B in the names. After installation, hit refresh on the main interface. Choose a clip vision model ending with B79K. Then drag a basic kick sampler from the model output port of the advanced IP adapter node. Next. Set up two clip text encoders for the positive and negative inputs of the key sampler. Color code them for clarity and connect them to the load checkpoint. Now, bring in the weight encoder for inpainting from the output of laden image, which lets the key sampler know which parts of the image needs denoising. Connect the pixels port of this node to load image and way to load checkpoint. Also, link mask to feather mask to specify which parts to denoise. Finally, hook up the way decoder from latent. Connect way to load checkpoint and then pull the preview image from the image port. Let's generate an image to see the impact of the way encoder for inpainting. There we go. The image is ready. Let's zoom in and you'll see how nicely the dress area has been denoised. All right, let's head back to our key sampler node and grab the V decoder node from the latent output. Connect the V of the decoder to the load checkpoint. Then drag the preview image node from the image port to get ready for our preview. To really fine tune the control with IP adapter, we can use the specific prompt to describe the outfit. I go with blue dress with floral print. Let's generate an image now to see how the outfit looks after the change. Here's the image. Let's zoom in. Notice the dress looks a bit too flat, almost like it's not quite fitting a human body. Let's tweak things a bit at the IP adapter node. Change the weight type to style transfer to generate another image. You'll see the dress now has a bit more three dimensionality than before. But let's adjust the weight type again. This time, select weak input. The three dimensionality is still not perfect, but the pattern on the dress is pretty accurately reproduced. Remember, Different weight types will give you different results, so it's worth experimenting with a few more settings. Feel free to also play around with different samplers and the schedulers. Now that we've got the basic dress up effect down, let's bring some more nodes to optimize the look. The image we generated lacks a bit of three dimensionality, and there are some details on the outfit that could be improved. Before we dive in, we need to install the model deep fashion in Configure Manager. Once we have the model installed, let's bring in the face detailer node. 
Well, it's typically used for refining facial details, a lesser known trick is that it can also enhance clothing details. After importing face detailer, connect its image port to the V decoder to pick up the image we worked on earlier. Then, connect it to the load checkpoint. Link this node to the clip text encoder. You can use the same one from the key sampler setup, or for more dedicated tweaking, import two new encoders just for the face detailer. Using specific encoder lets you adjust the look of the outfit with different prompts. Feel free to experiment with this on your own. I'll keep it simple here to streamline our workflow. Next up, we need a node to pinpoint the dress area. Double click Search for Ultra and select Ultralistic Detector Provider. Connect it and for the model, choose Deep Fashion that you just installed. Then drag the Sun Model Impact from the Sun Model Opt port, selecting the model that best fits your computer's capabilities. Now, bring a preview image node. To observe the effects of the enhancements made by Face Detailer, let's convert the mask to an image. All right, everything's set up. Let's generate the image. Here comes the output. Let's put the enhanced image side by side with the original image of the outfit change. If you notice, the dress now has more depth and the floral patterns appear more vibrant and realistic, thanks to face detailer. All right, I hope this walkthrough clarifies how to use this workflow effectively. We build it step by step to get comfortable with each node's function. If you found this helpful, Please hit like and follow for more. I'll see you in the next video.